everybody. So, this is the day of the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Now, the adult in me says, go be there early so you can get parking and this and that. But the hunter in me says, why not go to the swap meet? So let's go to the swap meet. Hopefully, we'll find something good to bring to the expo. So, yeah. Um, when I find something, I'll let you guys know. I got my first find of the day. Didn't get it on film because she was kind of weirded out, but N64 with Golden Eye, complete, just missing a jumper pack, 25 bucks. Pretty freaking sweet. Take it to the expo. <clears throat> so yeah, not not a whole lot on a Saturday at this place, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Alright everybody, we're here at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, about to go in. Pretty, uh, it's pretty packed. So, are you guys excited? Heck yeah. Yeah. You? Yeah. You? Not so much? <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll find some, some good stuff here. So, I'll see you guys inside. What's up everybody? So here's the expo. Insane! Look at all the people. We got free play back there. All these games. We got some uh, heavies over here. Right over in there. A bunch of heavy hitters. Pretty good stuff. Working out a deal to try to get some of those heavies, so we shall see. My buddy at Pixel Vault Games. Have the retro Mexican here. What's, going on, guys? What's up? <laughs> Armando, Pixel Vault Games, everybody. It's our egg. It's real life. It's real life. Oh, yeah. No worries, man. Oh, by the way, thanks for those free games you dropped off at the store. Ah, yep. You know it. You know it. Look, he's got some. He's got some heavy stuff here too. Come down to Pixel Ball Games and get some of this stuff. The 28th. 28th of February. 28th of February is the next trade event, everybody. Come by. Free. Awesome. Barbecue. Sweet. Look at that. So yeah, look, you guys see over there, Pat the NES Punk. Isn't that pretty cool? Retro Liberty is here, Gamester 81. Definitely some fun stuff. But yeah, I'll show you guys if I uh, get any deals. Whoa. Giant Nintendo. Which one do you want, black and red or black? There's Smash Bros. Tournament. Pretty sweet. A lot of uh, stuff here. Oh. So I've got some, I got some good stuff going on. Hoping to get more. So this is the first day of the expo. I don't know if I'm going to come back, but yeah, some good stuff. So uh, yeah, I will see you in the pickups part. I got some rare stuff, really rare stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the pickups portion. All done with the expo. It's a pretty good day. I stayed all day, nine to, nine to five. So pretty good. I'm happy. Uh, I got a lot of good stuff. Um, as you guys saw in one of my previous videos, I got that really rare Super Nintendo game, Extertainment. Um, I traded that away. I got four really good games and uh, cash. So I'm happy with that. I'll definitely show you guys uh, all the stuff I got when I get home. So I'm excited. I got a lot of good stuff. Um, it was pretty good. So I'm going to try to come tomorrow for a little bit, but we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the pickup portion.
What's up everybody? <clears throat> so this is the pickups portion for the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Um, now I tried to get you know as much footage as I could from the expo. Um, you know it's it was it's my first time ever being at an expo like that. You know I've been to like little trade events and stuff but as far as like expos and conventions go that's my first one um, video game wise. Um, so it was a little overwhelming, but I mean it was a lot to take in and uh, I had a blast. I got some amazing stuff. So I mean, you know, I, I mostly I think I filmed like the bulk of everything. I didn't really film like the trades or the purchases. Um, but um, yeah, it, there was a lot going on and it was really cool. So um, I'm going to try to... There's no real order. Um, I got all this stuff randomly, and I don't really remember the order. But um, I know I got this this one first. Um, so let's see here. This is the first uh, Turtles for the NES. Um, this is the box and the game. Now, um, a buddy of mine, he wanted uh, this uh, box I had for Pokemon Stadium 2. And I set it aside for him a while back, so I brought it with and we just did a straight trade uh, box for, for this one. You know, this, this one doesn't really go for that much. And the box, I mean, it evened out. It was, you know, it was, it was a cool trade. And then, um, it probably, I don't know, like a, a little while later in the day, um, I got the manual for the game. So now I have this one complete in box. So now I have Turtles 1 and Turtles 2 on the NES complete in box. So pretty cool. Um, get number 3 in, you know, that would be pretty... Uh, pretty sweet deal there um so that one was a trade and then i paid five for that one so pretty good um next ones these uh both of these games came from the same booth from my buddy's booth that i got the turtles game from um this was another buddy of mine that was he wasn't selling that day but he brought stuff to trade and he was mostly buying um he bought this game that day uh carmageddon 64 he paid 10 for it and i gave him 15 so that was a homie hookup. Um, really good deal. You know, this, I, I don't know, you know, what, what other people think, but I think this game is harder to find than Sculptor's Cut. Um, Sculptor's Cut may be way up there in price, but if you ever look online, there's like 20 to 30 Sculptor's Cuts always. You hardly ever see this game. Um, Carmageddon 64, I mean, especially in the wild. It's never in the wild, so, um, pretty nice, uh, so that knocks another one off my list. I was able to knock six off of the of the of the list, bringing my count down to six more left for the N64 set. So um, here's another one, uh, same booth. Um, another one of their buddies that came later, and he had a he had a lot of rare stuff. He had sculptor's cut in the box. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool. But he brought this one out, and I was able to buy this one for twenty bucks. Um, good deal considering, you know, this one's up there around 40, 30 to 40 dollars. So, uh, Indiana Jones. So there's another one off the list. Um, another N64 game here. Um, another one of my, uh, buddies, um, that I met, you know, through YouTube, through, uh, Instagram. Um, really cool guy. We did a trade. He had an N64 game that I needed for my collection, uh, International Superstar Soccer 2000, which is probably the harder one to find of the International Superstar Soccers. Um, so we, we traded uh, game for game on that one. So uh, thank you for that one. Um, pretty uh, pretty pretty stoked to be that close to finishing the set. And you know, I'm doing it all like through trades and finding them in the wild. I'm not really buying any of them online. So. That's why, I mean, I could have finished it a long time ago, but it's more fun doing it this way. Uh, this one, another buddy of mine, he uh, he set this one aside, and it's really cool because he's going for the set, too. He's further away than I am. Um, he, he needs a lot more to go. Um, but he found this one. He paid 6 bucks, so I think we did a, uh, a straight trade. Or, well, we traded some stuff, and he gave me cash on top for the stuff that we traded. Um, so that was pretty good. And the cool thing is, he needs this one for his collection, but he knows that, you know, I'm so much closer and he found it for me, so, um, definitely thank you for that one. Uh, Top Gear Hyperbike. So, another kind of hard, hard to game, hard, hard to find game. I mean, none of these games are, like, because I already have all the heavy hitters off the N64. It's all sports now. So, um, pretty cool. 
Uh, another N64 title here. We've got uh, Bassmasters 2000, and I paid five bucks for that one. So, good deal on that one. Um, okay, so these ones, I know I got these uh, at the end of the day. Um, th these were the last trade that I did. Um, I saw this game earlier in the day. The price wasn't really there for me just because of condition. I went back later and I was able to do a trade. I, tra you know, I brought a bunch of uh, Game Boy games in the box, uh, boxed N64 game, a um, couple other things. I, it was uh, the box N64 game was Hey You Pikachu, and it had everything but the game. But I was able to get the game in a trade that I'll show you in, in a, uh, right after this one. Um, so I traded that stuff. Um, we did straight trade, and I got a Blitz Special Edition. Condition is really sucky, but I mean, is you know. It was cool. I got it in the trade. So, and then uh, not the expensive one, but still cool to have, complete in the box and in really nice condition. Uh, Power Blade. So pretty cool title game. Wish it was Power Blade too, but I mean this is still, you know, an up there in value uh, kind of game. So um, pretty good uh, to knock that one off the list. Um, okay, this was the trade. I I, I <clears throat> traded uh, like a stack of you know just like Mario stuff. Um, N64 and Super Nintendo, um, and I got these. Uh, so I got the Hey You Pikachu, and then this game. These were just thrown in to make the deal a little bit sweeter. Uh, Sesame Street, ABC, and One Two Three. Didn't have it, so picked it up. And then uh, this was the 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 big reason. Um, so another heavy hitter off the well, eh, kind of heavy hitter. This one's hard to find. Uh, Battletoads Double Dragon for the NES. So. Really sweet deal. This came from my buddy Armando at uh, Pixel Vault Games at his booth. So uh, definitely go check him out if you guys are ever in the Ontario area, Pixel Vault Games. Actually, there's a trade event coming up at the end of this month, the last Sunday of this month, which I believe is the 28th, I think. So definitely check that one out. Um, okay, I got these right here. These are just random manuals that I bought throughout the day. Uh, or no, no, actually, all three of these came from the same place. So we've got a Pokemon manual to complete my Pokemon Red in the box. Um, this one is really cool. You guys saw that I got Brawl Brothers a couple videos back, um, and it was missing the manual. Well, I was able to find the manual, so now I have a complete Brawl Brothers. Uh, manual is in okay condition, some creases. And then also, uh, I have Mario Party in the box, and it was missing the manual as well, so I picked that one up. So I paid uh, four, four, and what did I pay for this one? I think five. I ended up paying just ten bucks, I think. Yeah. Some, ten, ten, eleven bucks. Some th weird number. Still a good deal. Um, I'll show you the, that one last. Uh, this is another trade I did. Um, this was around my buddy's booth and another guy, he was walking around with games. Um, I traded him the SWAT cats, but my SWAT cats that had the damaged label and then a boxing manual for Metroid Zero Mission. And uh, I, got, I, I think I got a really good deal. Um, you know, he knew the value of the stuff, but I mean, he was just, you know, really cool. You know, I love collectors like that. You know, we just hook each other up and stuff. So, um pretty good so I got Power Stone for the Dreamcast um, not as valuable as Power Stone 2 but still good game and then complete in the box really nice condition uh, Mutant League Football I hear that hockey is the better one but I mean still this is pretty cool I've never even played this series the the Mutant League games so pretty excited to pop that one in and give it a play um, so that's complete um, really nice I mean, it's got everything in there, you know, the label is pristine, and it's just got everything in here, so really happy to add that to the collection. And these games are, this one's kind of pricey as well, so. Okay, so, um, I'm sure you guys saw the thumbnail, you saw some of the good stuff that's uh, right there in the middle of it. Um, now, the story for this, okay, the, the first one here, um, this came from the same booth, but I purchased this earlier in the day um, we got Super Smash Bros now this is just the box and manual um, he sold it to me for 15 bucks that is a smoking deal for this box and manual 
Um, I, you know, ever since my buddy found it in the wild for ten bucks complete, I've been wanting the box and manual for this game. I mean, I've I've been looking for it for a while, but it always goes crazy numbers for just the box. So relatively good condition, fifteen bucks. Um, so um, when I went to the the expo, I brought um, the heavy hitter Super Nintendo card that you guys saw, you know, a ways back that I traded for, the big mega trade that I did, um, the Exertainment Speed Racer. Now, I like playing my games. Um, you can't play that game unless you have the exercise bike that was released for that game back when it was released. The reason that that one is so expensive is because that game was never released. They released the first one, the, just the regular Exertainment. It didn't do well at all. Um, nobody wanted to buy the exercise bike. It was way too expensive. And it was just a hassle. It was too big. So that game tanked. So they just put the, the, the Exertainment Speed Racer in a warehouse. And it was later found and released that way. So that's why it's so expensive. But I just... I'm, I'm not that type of collector where I just want to look at a game that I can't play. So what I did was I brought it with... In the hopes just to sell it for around what I had in trade value. But some games caught my eye and the collector and me said yeah let's let's do this so I was able to work a trade with the guy the cool thing was he's a Super Nintendo collector and mainly he does only Super Nintendo he gets everything but he's a Super Nintendo collector and I collect you know I, I've kind of fine-tuned it's where I, I want to get you know Nintendo up to GameCube and then like you know s s m most Sega stuff um, so I got these games here and I'm really happy with the trade I was able to trade for these four games some uh, some game sleeves I think I traded for six NES game uh, game box protectors um, and then some cash on top like pretty good amount of cash so first off um, we've got DuckTales 2 I see this game everywhere you know other friends and collectors I see them finding it and I really wanted this game I love the original DuckTales um, so I'm, I'm happy to have this one definitely um, gonna give this a, a, a playthrough um, next this one for me I think this game is somewhat harder to find than let's say you know little Samson or Flintstones I see Flintstones and Samson all over the place but the price on those games is just outrageous and this one's not I mean, it's still pretty up there, but it's not so bad, you know, but you hardly ever see this game for the NES. Um, so I'm super stoked to have this one. Bonk's Adventure. So pretty cool. And, you know, he threw in these uh, game protectors. Um, so there's those. And I knew I knew almost right away, like when I was, I mean, he had, he even had, he had Little Samson and Flintstones. Flintstones was a little on the rough side, but Little Samson was immaculate. Um. But I knew right away, you know, I picked out four games that, that even, you know, to a trade that I wanted and then calculated the, the cash on top. Um, so I picked these four games. Next, um, we've got, this one's pretty nice. The most expensive of the the, the series on the NES, uh, Mega Man 5. You know, of the, of the six Mega Mans that were released, uh, Mega Man 5 is the one that's the most expensive. I've got it complete in box now. That I mean, I I've been wanting to go for you know all the Mega Man's complete in box. So um, I knocked probably the heaviest one on the NES off the list. So and and the game inside is just immaculate. It's like never been opened out of the baggie. So pretty stoked to put that one on my shelf. Um, and I, I love playing the Mega Man games. So definitely happy with that. Um, and then last but certainly not least. Um, I, I haven't really been focusing on PS2 much lately, but I think I've reached a new goal for PS2. Um, I, there's just so many games on PS2 that, um, I just don't want to collect all of them, but I really like a lot of horror games and a few RPGs. So I'm going to go for those types, but mostly horror games. And, uh, this one is top of the list for the PS2. Super stoked to have it in my collection finally. Rule of Rose. Um, I don't know if I was ever going to find it in the wild, but I mean, to me, this is like finding it in the wild because realistically, I didn't have that much at all in that heavy hitter game. And to get 
all of these games plus cash on top just makes it worthwhile. I mean, I, I had less than a hundred bucks in the stuff I traded to get that game initially. So that's that's the best part about hunting is getting those games that you can trade for stuff yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm I'm stoked to have this one. Um, definitely happy. I was probably most excited to get this game just because I wanted to give it a playthrough. So. Um, I think it was really good. The expo was really good to me. Um, I didn't really spend that much money at all. Most of it was trades. That's the way you do it, you know. You you go out hunting, garage sailing, swap meets, whatever, and uh, you find this stuff cheap, and then you trade for this heavy hitter stuff. If you could find this heavy hitter stuff, that's amazing too, you know. But if you can't find it, you could find Mario's. You could find Zelda's. Um, places, you know, shops stores you know video game um retro video stores they would rather have your marios and your zeldas because that stuff flies off the shelves faster than these heavy hitters so that's how you trade and get this stuff so i mean that's you know all these heavy hitters that i got that's pretty much how i did it um you know there's a few i found in the wild but mostly it's all been trade so i'm thankful for that that i'm able to do that um because you know some of these games a lot of people never see because they're just so crazy high in price now. So I'm definitely stoked to have all this stuff. The expo was great. I can't wait until next year. Um, you know, it's, it's like been a while since, I mean, so SoCal hasn't had an expo, um, nothing like that. So it was pretty good, you know. I mean, I can't say anything about like price, but there was a lot of really expensive stuff there. Like some stuff was probably more expensive than it should be. But, I mean, I didn't really pay anything, you know, everything was trades. So, that's the way you got to do it, you know. If you're not wanting to spend that kind of cash, bring stuff to trade. Because that's just, just as good as cash, if not better. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for the expo. Um, it was great. Um, if I saw any of you out there, you know, it was, it was great to meet you. Um, if you guys saw me and didn't come up, next time, you know, just come up and say hi you know i'm just a regular guy um i love meeting other collectors and stuff like that so um definitely you know this this doing this youtube has brought me closer to a lot of people i met a lot of really cool people you know they're now my friends um in this you know this this because of youtube and and stuff like that so definitely thankful for that so yeah um that's all i got guys so thumbs up the video comment subscribe and thanks for watching see you guys next time